the doctors at Children's Hospital and the, the folks in the sports medicine clinic really picked up uh, a number of years ago in 2007 that concussion was becoming an issue and they recognized that there can be long-term consequences for some kids who get concussion. Our group became interested in looking at how education might be impacted. Um, because of the concern over safety, there's been a lot of work that's been done in looking at um, return to play. When is it okay to return a child to return to play? Not so much attention has been paid to when is it okay to return to learn. In terms of uh, concussion, 90% of concussions clear within seven to 10 days without any uh, long-term consequences. There's a subset of those uh, children who do have concussion that the symptoms linger longer. For kids who had concussion symptoms that linger more than 10 days, there were really three things that seemed to be associated with academic difficulty. Um, concentration difficulty, uh, hearing problems, and vision problems. And when we looked specifically at kids who had a little bit longer period of time, the kids who were more 30 days after their concussion, vision and concentration difficulty were really the only two things that seemed to still be associated with it for the, the kids who had longer term academic problems. Things to look for are headaches after uh, doing uh, schoolwork, uh, difficulty with their vision, complaining that they're having um, fatigue, eye problems, uh, those sorts of things are things that can commonly brought up, be brought on by um, the academic work. Uh, so it's important for parents to recognize that what we're really looking for is for your child to be uh, have no difficulty at all and have no symptoms when they begin to do their academic work again. Um, and that's before they return to play.